Okay, so we're going to have a look at chemistry. Uh, chemistry is offered by science here, so prerequisites. Okay, there are no prerequisites for chemistry. You just continue on with the knowledge that you already have from junior science. It's just that it's going to be a bit more specialised in chemistry rather than having a look at the general science from the junior school. Okay, it is a category A subject, okay, so it is one that will help you if you look to go on to university. All right, structure, All right, there's 120 hours in year 11. All right, there is, we're looking at working scientifically skills, so they're things that you've already been looking at in terms of reading data, communicating research skills, practical skills. And then we have the content modules. Okay, we're gonna have a look at properties and structure of matter where you really get stuck in and have a look at the types of chemical bonds that there are and also have a look at the way that the atom is put together. Module two is an introduction to quantitative chemistry. So you have a look at the masses that are involved in reactions, the volumes of gases that can be released in reactions. And you also have a look at the types of things, um, looking at how to make most efficient use of reactions in industry. Module three, you're looking at reactive chemistry. So you're looking at the types of energy that's involved in the chemistry. You're looking at uh, different types of reactions again, and what actually it looks like in terms of those reactions. All right, module four, drivers of reactions. You're looking again at the energy involved in the reactions and how the reactions are actually driven to actually proceed. So you're looking at what types of things cause a reaction to happen and what type of things are going to stop a reaction from happening. Now you need to do a depth study right over here. It's 15 hours now, it's 15 hours in class. Right? And you need to, it goes a bit beyond what the syllabus actually asks, but it is a requirement of the syllabus itself. Right? So it's 15 hours in class throughout terms one to three or modules one to four. Okay, there are lots of practical opportunities, practice skills, and apply your knowledge in the course. All right, so what we learn about, I've gone through a little bit before, but the course provides you with an opportunity to develop your knowledge, understanding, and skills in relation to the properties and structures of matter and a variety of chemical reactions incorporating organic compounds and acid base equilibrium reactions. All right, we have a look at theories and models used to describe and explain, and also make predictions about chemical systems, structures, and properties. Okay, and you'll make informed decisions about chemical use and sustainable resource management. So it's looking at making you able to use chemicals safely and responsibly and also and lay, uh, allowing you to relate the chemistry into other subjects that you might be doing. Right? So some of the practice that you can do, okay, there's making esters or making different scents. Okay? One student this year has actually made biodiesel as part of their depth study. We also have a look at flame tests and looking at how they apply to fireworks. Okay, testing chemicals from home, and we also have a look at equilibrium reactions. All right. So career opportunities, you can look at becoming a research scientist, forensics, medical, food scientist. Okay, there's a whole range of different things that you can put up in terms of careers. All right. And here's just a few reasons as to why people have chosen to do chemistry in the past. Thank you.